We're on the ground in Santa Fe, New Mexico, about to depart VFR. We'd like to take advantage of flight following for our route, but we're not sure who to contact to request it, and which frequency to use. Here are a number of ways we can solve this. VFR traffic advisories, or flight following, is a service provided by a radar control facility. They use radar identification of your flight to provide traffic advisories and can assist with other things like weather. Basically, it's another set of eyes on you. Radar facilities are either in a tracon or an approach, or they're in a center. The facility you'll use depends on your location as well as your altitude. The country is split up into sectors, each one handled by a different center. Here in Santa Fe, it would be Albuquerque Center. Busier terminal areas will have an approach control or tracon facility which will handle aircraft at lower altitudes, like us on our GA flight. So basically, if you're in a more rural area, we should expect to request flight following from a center. If we're in an area covered by a tracon, we'll look for an approach. Okay, so now which one? The easiest thing to do is ask. We're on the ground at a towered airport, so we're going to be talking to ground control to get our taxi instructions, so why not ask them? Santa Fe Ground, Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango, what's the best frequency to request flight following for a southwest bound route? Let's say you're not at a towered field or it's nighttime and Santa Fe Tower is closed. Frequencies can be found in the airport facility directory, which we'll use for flight to pull up. A little more than halfway down for the entry for Santa Fe, we have communications. Albuquerque Center is listed for approach and departure control on 132.8. Looking back at our map, we see that Santa Fe doesn't fall inside an area covered by a tracon so the center at Albuquerque owns all the airspace here. The other way you can find this on ForeFlight is to go onto the Info tab on the airport page and scroll down to find Albuquerque Center on 132.8, just as we saw it before. Another thing you can do is give flight service a call. This is easy from the ground, just pull out your mobile phone, making sure the airplane is secure and not moving and you're in a non-movement area on the field, and call 1-800-WX-BRIEF. Tell them you're on the ground at Santa Fe, looking for whom to contact for flight following. Let's say you're already airborne though and can't make that phone call. You can call flight service in the air. Here, we're over flying Santa Fe Airport southwest bound. The nearby Santa Fe VOR shows us that we can contact flight service on 122.2 and that the facility name is Albuquerque Radio. And we can talk to them like that and ask them. Another thing to do is look at our IFR chart. Even if we're VFR only, it can be helpful to at least know about this. These boxes here list center facilities and frequencies for the area we're in. Again, it shows us Albuquerque on 132.8. Center facilities control a very large area, so there are multiple frequencies for them. Further south, closer to Alamogordo, we'd use a different frequency. Even if this wasn't the correct facility for flight following, we should still be able to get someone on the radio as long as we're in range, and they'll be able to direct us around. Finally, in a pinch, you might consider making the request on the guard frequency of 121.5. Guard is reserved for emergency use only, but it's not hard to think of a scenario where needing to get flight following is approaching an emergency scenario. Make the request there. Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango transmitting on guard looking for a frequency to request flight following from over the Santa Fe VOR at 9 or 1,000 feet. ATC facilities typically monitor guard and should be able to assist. Sometimes the best option is to not reinvent the wheel. If I fly into an unfamiliar airport and I've used flight following on the way in, I'll typically use the last frequency I was assigned prior to switching to tower or CTAF to make the request on the way out. It might not be correct as frequencies change at different times of day, but it's likely to be the right one. Did you know that Flight Insight has an entire course on VFR radio communications? Now that you know whom to call for flight following, you can enroll in the course to learn all about flight following, as well as all the other intricacies of talking on the radio in the VFR environment. Check that out, along with the rest of our courses, at the link here or in the description.